Hello, yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And yes, I am currently sat in a speedboat. This is one of the safety boats here at Wild Wind Sailing Holidays. I'm gonna make a double whammy video of one, how fast does this powerboat go? And number two, how to apply telemetry to your videos. Uh, that means the speedos and anything else that you want to overlay so that we can see how fast we're going while we're going. Okay, so this is a uh, rib craft, four and a half meter rigid inflatable boat. It's powered by a 50 horsepower Yamaha engine. So we're just gonna take her up onto the plane first, just so it's planing. So there we go, we're just planing there. We can see how fast it's going while it's just planing. Okay, now we're gonna open her up. We are, of course, hurtling in towards the beach. Okay, just a little blip of high speed there. We don't drive these boats flat out very often, so it's quite surprising how quick that was. It felt fast. I am looking forward to seeing on the telemetry what it reads. So the telemetry information is gonna be coming from the GoPro Hero 8 that I've got on my head. Uh, you can get the telemetry information from all of the GoPros since the Hero 5 um, to the Hero, well, to the present day. So, um, yeah, I'm using the 8, as I said. We've got Seb, who's going to be taking the speedboat off me. Could I go in a little bit closer? I've got a... Um, do you want me to leave that running? Uh, yeah, because the ending is going to get the uh, I think I should be able to nose nosy off here okay thanks man and touchdown okay that's rex the dog we've got angus he's painting a blackboard vanessa who we met earlier on in the week ash Hello. always busy okay so we're coming in oh we've got rick oh, hey, how are you doing? oh we're making a video on telemetry oh nice you, you might have to stop with your tape though yeah sorry <laughs> Okay, so we've got to the workshop. We are now gonna enter here. And here we go, the first stop is the telemetry overlay website. So this is called gopro-telemetry-extractor.com. Okay, so here we are, we're now on screen and what I've done is I've already copied the video files from the SD card onto my desktop. And so we've got the GoPro telemetry extractor.com website. And this is something that you used to be able to do using the GoPro quick application, but it still works for the Hero 5. So if you've got a GoPro Hero 5 Black, you don't actually need to do this. You could actually just use uh, GoPro Quick, uh, which I explained in an earlier video. Um, but everything since the 6 to up to date GoPros, it doesn't work. So I actually bought this, um, this one, which is called Telemetry Overlay, which was $81 plus tax, 81 euros plus tax. And here we go. So I've already got that installed. Let's load her up and take a look. So just loading up that bit of software, very nice. And then it says load video files. Now this is the bit that blew my mind. I just went, all right then. So I clicked on there and it's on the desktop. We want the first one. So that one, 
And here we go, let's open that file. It is currently optimizing the file. So here we go, it's imported the footage and you can see it's overlaid these gauges already. We've got here the automatically overlaid one. We've got a compass and when we click on it, we can see it brings up uh, all sorts of options. We can change the color, the colors on there and what have you, or if we don't want it, we can delete it. This is having just had one go with this bit of software so I'm by no means an expert. The next gauge is the accelerometer which I suppose would be like some sort of g-force and I don't think we need that one so let's get rid of him. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay this one is the altitude. Now we were at sea level the whole time so that's not going to be particularly interesting so I'm going to get rid of that as well. And then here is the route that we took. It's a straight line. Uh, we don't need that one, the GPS path. So we'll just keep the compass bearing because it's sort of interesting. Uh, there we go. So straightforward, I didn't even see it. Let's make it a bit bigger. We'll move it a bit. Oh, and this one here is the distance we traveled. Let's keep that because it looks cool. And then the juicy one, of course, is the speedometer which is just here. If I just go forwards a bit in the footage. So this was actually before I started the video and I turned around, took the camera off me head, did a bit of talking and then we want it from when the camera goes back on and let's see where the best spot is. We could even put the speedo like there but because the camera was on my head it's going to be moving around a bit so I think we'll put the speedo just there but miles per hour you say we don't want miles per hour not for boating so we'll go to units nautical and there it is it's in knots lovely okay shall we change anything else um I don't think there's much need to. There's loads of stuff that we can have a look at on here. Oh, the shape, that's what I wanted to change. So can we make it so it's a circle? I think we probably can. All right, nice. And I think that'll do. So now we can just let it run. Here we go. Oh, having a look at the engine. All right, I'll just come forwards a little bit more in the footage. And there it is, and she's off. Nice, so you can see that looks absolutely as cool as you like. So I'm very happy with that. I'll wait until that's exported to actually get the results of how fast we were going. You will, of course, already know how fast this power boat was going uh, so then just export what happens when we go export all right here we go we've got some options here format mp4 that's fine no need to change any of that when i did the one before i put the video quality to maximum i just left the render speed as it is and then let's just export that now it did take a little while to export before. One of the usual size files, which is about 15 minutes long, it did take about an hour or so to export. So this is something that would be worth just leaving it doing overnight. And then when you get up the next day, it's like Christmas, it's done it for you. Oh my goodness, what a lovely day that would be. Okay, so there we go. That's how I am now putting the telemetry onto the videos. I think this software is very, very good. I'm not being paid to say it's very good. They haven't given it to me for free. I have actually paid for this, but having messed around with other bits of software, trying to make it happen, like I tried race render 
and that was really clanky uh, and it ended up not working with the footage that I wanted to use. I tried Dashware um, and that didn't work in a satisfactory way. And then this one works perfectly first time. And I'd say if you're busy and you haven't got time to be messing around with free software that doesn't quite do it as nicely, you might as well just pay the money and then it's done. Uh, so there you go. Thanks very much. I hope this has been entertaining and uh, informative. If you're new to Joyrider TV, then uh, do subscribe. There'll be new videos coming most days. Uh, most videos are about sailing in one way or another, mostly catamaran sailing, very fast stuff. So putting these gauges on the videos is very much essential. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Thanks very much. And I'll see you soon. Thanks very much.